Hey everybody, it's Ruan here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial how to use DaVinci Resolve 10 for basic color grading. Uh, so first of all, let me log into my DaVinci account and I'm just going to click on this little plus to create a new project and let's just call this tutorial and then click on create and double click on your new project and browse to your uh, footage that you're going to use. And we're just going to take this clip and drag it into this master window at the bottom. And I'm going to click on change just to make it the same settings as the clip. Next step, you click on edit here at the bottom and we're going to create a new timeline. So you just right click here in the top, create new timeline, give it a name and click on create new timeline. Right, you drag your clip into your timeline and then you can click on the color tab here at the bottom to start your color grading. Alright, so we're just going to do a basic color grade um, of this little clip here. Um, as you can see, it's very flat. I shot this on a Canon 5D Mark II using a CineStyle picture profile. Alright, so as you can see, I've got my scopes here in the middle. If you want to enable this, you click on View, and then somewhere down here you will see Video Scopes. And just make sure that's on, and you can position it somewhere on the screen. So first of all, we're going to start with a um, default node and we're just going to change some settings, um, some basic settings that I usually start with. So first of all, we're going to go to primaries here at the bottom and we're just going to take the lift and you're going to drag this wheel until the bottom line of this section on the scopes um, go just past the bottom zero. So we just drag that down and something like that. All right, and we're going to do the same with the highlights. So we're going to go to gain and just push that up a little bit. So it goes past the top like that. All right, next up, we're going to go to this little button here, which is primary. So what I want to do, I want to boost some, I want to make it look a little bit warm. So I'm going to push the reds up a little bit and also take some blue out. So you just get a little bit of a warmer look. Um, if we look at the difference, you can press um, Shift D to just toggle between um, disabling your color grade to see the difference. Right, next step, we're going to create a new node. So you're going to right click here, click on Add Node and click Rector. And we're just going to drag that onto the line to insert that new node. And on the second node, we're going to go to um, We're going to go to our color wheels again and we're going to bring down the saturation to around 40. I just like to desaturate my footage a little bit to get a little bit of a formula going. So you do that and then what you can do as well on the second note, you bring up your contrast. So just push that up a little bit until you are happy with the contrast in your footage. So if we look at the difference, that's quite a difference. All right, the next thing I want to do, I want to bring out some of the blue colors in the sky. So I'm going to click on Add Node again, click on Corrector, drag that onto the line. And we're going to make sure we're on the Qualifier button here at the bottom. And then we're going to make sure this button is selected. And we're just going to drag over the sky color. And what you can do is you can click on this little button to view your selection. So there you can see we've selected some of the sky. Let me just do that again to show you. You drag over it. You can just make sure that you're selecting some of that color. All right, now you can switch this off. And then what I'm going to do with this one, I'm just going to boost some of the blues. So go to primary and just push up some of the blue color. And you'll see it will only affect that section. If I just disable this one node, if you click below the node, it's going to disable only that one node. As you can see, it makes quite a difference in the sky. All right, next up, I want to add a vignette. So I'm going to right click Add Node, click on Corrector, drag that onto the line. And for this one, we're going to select this little button here. Um, I think it's called uh, just Window. And I'm going to enable the circle shape. And then I'm just going to make it bigger. So let's just drag it sideways and also vertical, something like that. And then you can um, just change the softness here. So it's not like a really a harsh 
circle and then what you can do as what you need to do is you click on the invert button here because we only want to affect the area outside of the mask and then what I'm going to do I'm going to stay on the primary section here and I'm just going to lower this which will make the footage darker on the side there you can see so it's a bit harsh uh, let's just increase the size of the circle or the ellipse just drag it out here and there's your basic vignette so if we switch that on or off you can see that's the difference okay if we're going to go full screen if you press ctrl f you can see there's your color graded clip and if we toggle with shift d you can see that's the original footage from the camera and that's your color graded clip which looks quite nice i think um, obviously this is a very basic grade so yeah there you go i think uh, davinci resolve is one of the best color grading tools out there at the moment and with a light version which is free it's really really great so check it out um, i'm actually looking forward to the new version davinci resolve 11 that's coming out in june so yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and yeah see you guys next time cheers Thank <laughs> you.